Residents' safety concerns have been answered for drivers across the Twin Cities. The Louisiana Department of Transportation and Development awarded a bid of more than $857,000 to make the Indom Bridge intersection safer in West Monroe. NBC 10's Maya Hudgens talked with the DOTD about their future plans. Maya, what can residents expect? In the fall of 2021, the intersection of Coleman Avenue and Riverfront could look a little different. The Indom Bridge realignment project will take the existing roadway and shift it 20 feet away from the entrance of traps, which is located right here. Now, this will allow drivers a safe and visible turn onto Indom Bridge. When I talk to those in the community, they're really excited about this change. So a lot of people in our area, they're very concerned about this intersection because it is, you know, there's a lot of hazard to it. I mean, you can barely see one direction. The other direction's coming in really fast. Right now, everyone coming from South Riverfront has to stop and can't see down the bridge due to the brick wall. That will change as the intersection is moved. DOTD says this project will create a two-way stop for Riverfront and Coleman Avenue, cutting down on accidents. It's going to create more safety and hopefully cut down on some of the, you know, the, the wrecks and, you know, some of the car accidents and, and, you know, fender benders. So I think it's a really good thing. I think it's a good change for our, our community. For residents who use this bridge on a daily basis, they see more than just an increase in safety. Improving the roads will keep people off I-20 and help the foot traffic for both downtown Monroe and West Monroe. I have a business down on Desired Street, and so that's exciting for me because I know more people are going to be traveling. Traveling uh, across the Indom Bridge and into Monroe, and also it's going to help Antique Alley, I think. Now, DOTD officials say construction will start around April of next year. They will have 125 days to complete it, not including weekends or holidays. For now, in West Monroe, I'm Maya Hudgens reporting. All right, Maya, thank you. In addition to the realignment project, DOTD will also improve some minor drainage issues. Sidewalks and pedestrian crossings will also be added to both sides of the street.